My dear friend, Dr. Gene Scott, passed away several years ago. That made me sad. He was a wonderful person and a wonderful friend. And I would like to tell you exactly how we met. When I was just 24 years of age, my first time in America, I had been specially invited by one of the leaders of Oral Roberts University to attend the first International Preachers Convention. And at 24, it was a big deal because it was my first time in America. And of course, I was thrilled with it. Anyway, I get to ORU and I'm in there with probably three or 400 preachers from all over the world and uh, just absolutely amazed at everything. And after one particular session that somebody was speaking at with, for all the preachers, we were told that we would then break up and we would go in small groups into different classrooms where there would be a teacher at each classroom. So I went to where I was assigned. I didn't know who the teachers were. I just went where I was told. I do remember that when I walked into that small classroom, the teacher was standing with his back writing on the board as we, as we came in. So I didn't actually see him until I sat down and he turned around. It was a very young Dr. Gene Scott. I didn't know him, of course. And we did hear this. After that session was over, I went out into the lobby and wrote my wife Maureen back in Ireland a letter, an airmail letter, which said, get this, I have just heard the greatest Bible teacher I've ever heard in my life, and his name is Dr. Gene Scott. But here's the thing, I know I was just 24, but I'm a lot older than that today, and I've never changed my opinion. I know he was an unusual character. He was very unusual in many ways. And in company in a home where he's been in our home, I've been in his home, he's very quiet. But when he got in front of that camera, he was most unusual. But forget about that part. In his teaching of God's word, it was masterful and a real blessing. Fast forward several years, and I was invited to a preacher's convention. I can't remember where, but I think it was St. Louis. St. Louis, you know, in Missouri. I went there. I got there and they had a schedule. And then I was approached by some of the sponsors of the convention and told that one of the preachers who was to take a service hadn't turned up, he was sick or something. I can't remember that. But anyway, would I speak? I said, okay. I went ahead and spoke. And just after I spoke, I was standing there, and this man walked over. I didn't even know he was in the meeting. He walked over and shook my hand, Dr. Gene Scott. This is many, many, many years ago. First thing he said to me after a formal greeting, he said, I know you're from Belfast. He said, I'd love to go. And so I said, we would very much like to have you. And so the day came when he did fly to Belfast, ministered for us in faith, tabernacle, and that began a relationship that we had. Obviously with me being in Ireland and him in Los Angeles, we didn't talk every day. In fact, it was just from time to time. But when we did, it was very warm. And I did visit him a number of times in uh, Los Angeles, and we had f fantastic blessings. I must say, too, that maybe a year or two ago, after, of course, Gene had passed away, his wife, Melissa, has stopped by our meetings here in Florida and ministered, and she did it brilliantly, wonderful. And I understand she's carrying on that ministry of Gene today in Los Angeles. God bless the memory of Gene Scott. Uh, he did not want to pussyfoot around. He wasn't interested in small things, but he loved God's Word. And he used to quote the Scripture all the time. It seemed to me all the time. Forever, O Lord, thy Word is settled in heaven. 
He has passed on now. He was older than me, of course. He's passed on. But we were good friends. I remember one time, in fact, my wife and I uh, having lunch with him and his two parents. And we loved them too, lovely people. And when his father used to sing that little song, that little boy of mine, it would have touched you. Anyway, I'm just recording this in tribute to Gene Scott, unusual, very unusual character in so many ways. But when he got down to God's word, after all these years, I still say it, I never heard a better Bible teacher in all my life. God bless you, Gene, and God bless you, Melissa. Thank you.